Got Colin Smith with me today from Adobe. We're looking at the latest Creative Suite 5. This is the production premium version and I uh, want to delve into the, uh, I guess, uh, the After Effects and Premiere, kind of the sure. video side. And, exactly. Um, I'm just going to let you get started on this because there's always some fun stuff that you've got. All right. Well, one of the coolest things out there is tapeless formats. I mean, we're seeing this, you know, all the way from uh, di digital SLR cameras all the way up to red files, big red cinema files that people are cutting movies on. And what we wanted to do with Premiere Pro CS five is make sure that it worked with all of these formats right out of the box. Uh, we didn't want to have to transcode, which means waste time. You know, you can spend hours just preparing media to work. With Premiere Pro CS5, if you're on location, so imagine we're shooting at some beautiful location somewhere, you literally take the camera, plug it in, and you start to edit. No conversion at all. Um, and so all the file formats. Yeah, you name it. Here, here's uh, several different file formats. This is uh, AVC Intra files. So these come out of Panasonic's uh, big high-end system. Uh, they're really uh, uh, full-on HD formats, and you can see it plays back. By the way, I'm playing this on a laptop that's at least three generations old. This is HD content on a laptop. So most Better people get are, Adobe to get you a new laptop. Yeah, they should <laughs> definitely. But I mean, normally you just cannot do that. You can't yeah. run this HD uh, footage on a laptop. But there's there's a way that we do this. For instance, here's uh, footage from a Canon 5D. Yeah. Right? The digital SLR cameras exactly. that are really popular now. Yeah, and here we are playing this back. Uh, and, you know, the, the format that's, what's great about this format wow. is the fact that, you know, they've got great depth of field. They've got a huge full sensor on here. It looks beautiful, but other systems can't edit this natively. We just open it up and we're playing it back. Is that you? That's not me running. <laughs> And the way that we do this is we have what's called fractional resolution. So instead of being able to play this back, well, I mean, if we've got a powerful computer, we can play it back at full res, but you'll notice that I'm playing this back at half resolution. Yeah. And I could even take it down to a quarter resolution if I wanted to. And, um, you know, most desktop systems, I'd be able to play that back at full resolution. That's amazing for the creative process because now like on location, whether you're just doing a simple wedding video or like a high-end movie, you can see things instantly. Yeah, and you know what? You bring up an amazing point, weddings. One of the things that, that these wedding videographers love to do is while people are sitting down for dinner, they're watching the video that was shot just a few hours ago. Which, you wouldn't have seen that years no, ago. No, no, in, in years ago, that, that just didn't happen. You know, two weeks later of, of processing, you yeah. finally get it. Where's my video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're sitting, eating, and they're watching the, the ceremony while people are sitting down. I mean, that's just a beautiful thing. So being able to do those kinds of things are just fantastic. Just edit it, drop it in the timeline, output to the web, output to film, to video, you name it. Um, I also want to show you speech to text, which we have built into the program. And I've got uh, a file here that has some speech to text that's already been processed inside here and we have something called meta logging. This is a meta logging workspace where we can actually see uh, the file and if I just open that file up and you can see the text shows up right inside here. Wow. So I, Will it break it down per person as yes, well? Yes it will. It will how, does it, how does it know? It's really smart. We've got um, an, another program that's called On Location in Adobe Story, and this is a full end-to-end um, -end workflow from a screenplay out to the web, and we'll embed this text inside. So why do we want to do this? Well, a lot of times editors get handed a two-hour show, and they have to go find a certain word in that show, yeah. and that's not fun. No, but what do they, they do? have to sit and watch the whole thing. Exactly, yeah. and, and when they miss it, it's, now they just search for the word. So here's the words. If, if I uh, just play this, you'll see that it will play back, and there's the words, you can see hard, and when I click on the word. It brings you right to that point. Yeah. Wow. And this can even be used on the web. So we can export this out and, and we can have text playing back in a movie live on the web. That's amazing.